that acknowledges that Russia did in fact interfere with the 2016 election. Uh, so do you believe that this is a witch hunt, or do you believe what Fox News is opinionating on that this wasn't bad? Well, I, I haven't read their opinions. I don't think Russia had an impact on this election. Okay, that's question number one. Thank you for answering that. Do you feel that the uh, sanctity of our democracy and the vote given that you don't feel Russia interfered, I'm assuming you think that the democracy is in good hands right now concerning potential future uh, interference by Russia or another country. Well, I don't know what you mean by interference. I don't like um, when other countries take sides around here. I don't like that, you know, in the last election, I don't know who Russia would have wanted to have win. I mean, obviously, they, they gave a lot of money for Bill Clinton to give a speech, which I thought was maybe inappropriate. Um, and I don't know that was a sign that they felt sure. that, that they could control one okay. candidate more than the But the, the, the one word answer is Russia did not interfere with the 2016 they election. They didn't have an effect. How about a one word answer? To they the did not change. Are there a witch hunt? Wait, 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 wait. Like the president. I'll, I'll put it this way. I don't think whatever Russia did affected this election. Thank I you. Thank you for putting that on tape. Very good. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people uh, during the campaign. Okay. We had a lot of people that good. gave me reasons why they voted for this candidate, reasons why they voted for that candidate. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of them mentioned anything that would have to do with Russia. Sounds good. I so, think so cut and dry in Russia is not involved. Which I, leads to I Trump's think, taxes. I'm sorry, well, Donald Trump's taxes. Okay. Two House well, Republicans, Mark Sanford of South Carolina, Walter Jones, these are your colleagues in North Carolina. I'm sure you've had lunch with them, you know them. They are urging, and again, these are Republican House members. Uh, do you know these two members, uh, Walter Jones and Mark Sanford? Yep, okay. They are urging Donald Trump to release his taxes, his tax documents going back one decade. So that's two colleagues of yours, which leads me to ask, do you believe President Trump should release his tax returns Yes or no? Going back well, I'll give you my own tax returns. returns. I think so the answer is no. They don't believe you should release his tax returns. Well, I'm, I'm not concerned sure about you. yours. I'm concerned about what you feel as my I, I, representative I, I believe about the president. It's a yes or no answer, answer, sir. You don't have to no interrupt answer. me all the time. But it's a yes or no answer. Do you believe he should be tax returns? I'm not going to put up with you interrupting me all the time. Okay. Um, I think it has been common for presidents to release their tax returns. I think also presidents in the past have had relatively uncontroversial tax returns, okay? And With the controversy by Hassan about Russia's you know. Um, I think, you know, I'm not going to you. I think an average politician's tax return will look kind of like my tax return, okay? It's going to be a, a in the state legislature, the bulk of the income came from the state of Wisconsin, other bulk of the income is your taxes paying for myself. Donald Trump, I assume, has a rather odd tax, or a different tax, not odd, but a different sort of tax return, and I assume that's one of the reasons why he hasn't released it. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if, for example, he didn't pay taxes, because if you are in the real estate business, if you know anybody who has a lot of apartments and that sort of thing, it's not unusual not to pay taxes. I think a lot of people um, don't realize that by the time you get done with appreciation, it, it, until you sell the buildings, that is a norm. You can say we've got to change the tax law, so it's not a norm, but it's a norm. And I have watched on a state level politicians being attacked by people who don't understand that if they have, you know, some years not paying income taxes. In the state of Wisconsin, you can, it's a public record, you can find out that everybody paid an income tax. Gotcha. So and yes or no, I'm sorry, this is no, 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 no. We've got a lot of time. Okay, okay, all right. You're, 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 you're beating them up. I gave you a one answer question. Do you believe, as my representative, he should release his tax documents? I'm not sure. 
I went, this is who I am. I, mean, I forgot. But it's, I don't know if you're beating around the bush. Um, Congressman, yes I, or no? Do you believe he should make <coughs> his tax return? I, That's I, not the answer. Okay, so your answer is it's not okay. Ben, Ben, I believe you should introduce legislation like I phoned you six times to make it necessary for all candidates, the president and vice president, to release their tax returns. Will you introduce that legislation? Please sit down. It's my son's turn. You're going to give this man time. Suddenly you're not going to get Excuse me. It's my son's turn. You had two questions. You just said we had all day. Will you introduce that No, we don't have all. Will you introduce that We don't have all. Okay, so there's no answer to the legislation. I've got several ideas, several calls that you're on. I'm focusing on welfare reform, tax reform, balancing the budget. And the committee on the second government reform, which watches the investigation of the... Please sit down. It's my son's turn. Well, I guess we can answer the question of will he introduce legislation to demand that presidential candidates release their tax returns going to. Well, people have caught that. No answer. All right, thank you.